Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Ultimatumly 3.14. In this episode, I want to do viewer build reviews. I only have two. Like I said, not many people have been submitting build reviews, but uh, some viewers have requested that I do the build reviews to remind people that I do viewer build reviews. It's a very good idea, so thank you so much for the suggestion, and we're going to try it. Because um, maybe there are more people out there who need help and uh, just didn't know that I do this. So, uh, flashbang alert, uh, flashbang warning. And, oh, this is my character. We're already leveling up again. Lighthouse Phoenix go boom, but we're at 85 and we're not going to die this time. Easy clap, 12,000 armor, 7,000 life with a jinx juju. Okay, uh, now to the actual viewer builder views. Uh, so, flashbang alert on this video, 737. I had viewer build reviews, and then I told people to do, on my stream, I made them do the build review command, and they would comment on this video, the required stuff. Now, what's kind of funny is there was actually a 739, which was also a viewer build reviews, so I messed up, and um, and I, I forgot to link to this one. This was actually the last viewer build reviews. And so I forgot to update the command, so all of that is messed up, but who cares? I still got the, uh, I still got the comments from this, uh, 737, and so I did the recent ones because it has to be for, it should be for ultimatum, and so I did, uh, Shikoi, comedy, and then, uh, this guy, uh, Ascobis, but, Ascobal, but his is private. I tried to do his. Um, but his character, when I import, Escobol, private, unlucky. But for the other two, we have a level 99 Necromancer in standard. And so this is uh, Shikoi, 5, 1, 2, 1, 3, and then Shaltir, ally, all my auras are running. I don't know why my POB is saying minus RMR, any tips on improving? Uh, it doesn't say minus RMR for me, but that's probably because it doesn't have like grace and shit on. Um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have grace on because uh, it's Val. It only has the Val version. Uh, I'm gonna guess that it's because your flesh and stone is 35% mana reserve instead of 25 now. Um, so if you turned on grace, you'll have minus ma minus res. And it's because Flush and Stone now is 25, uh, 35 instead of 25. They raised the mana cost of this, so it's not as good. Uh, then you run Vitality, Convocation, Flame Dash, Flush Offering, Val again, so it's... Yup. Yup. How much is that reserve? 11%. I feel like you still wouldn't have enough unless Val Grace isn't on. Uh, you have zero. <laughs> and then the little bit of change to the mana on the Flesh and Stone would be the diff if you weren't using a normal Grace and only using Val Grace. Yep. Uh, any suggestions? He said, any ways to improve? Um, how did this import with all of the... It imported with all the clusters enabled and everything. Wow, that's so cool. How did it know? But he uses the intuitively produced mana. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, any any recommendation for the flesh and stone nerf? Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, just get a Maven Helm with more mana reserve. You you can upgrade the reduced mana reservation on the helmet with a Maven. Um, I think you can also get 11% on Asaka Walls by increasing the mana with an enchant and then corrupting for the plus one. It's, it'd be ridiculous to do. Um, and... Uh, nice, you have the reduced and that, and champion of the cause. Pretty nice. Uh, 
you could run a reduced mana on this if you could and then you have two percent and then 75 percent more i don't know if it can give you an extra one it sounds like it should be able to because 75 percent of one is 0.75 so it can't do anything but if you had two percent and you had 0.5 times more then it would give an extra one percent reduced mana so if you could get this as another reduced mana you'd get actually like two um that would be pretty huge actually i think so just as an example how this one is this if you had it twice so the whispering arbiter holy shit and you could run grace <laughs> that's pretty crazy dude that's pretty fucking crazy man uh so obviously more expensive upgrades with reduced mana are are obvious uh what else do we run primordial ma I got primordial harmony he's got all of them uh you could get the increased area on all your clusters uh you have an anima stone nice intuitive leap a watcher's eye with clarity and purity that's cool that's cool uh energy from within nice i don't like it that much so one thing usually i i don't like doing this because can't you just do okay it's a small thing watch the life and stuff or the es 59 18 57 21 more damage okay yours is okay okay it's more damage but then you also get mana back technically this is cool because it gives you mana back um but yeah i'd, I'd revert this i guess that's more more yes it's pretty cool but uh you could get more damage dude and also just these nodes in general is some pretty good es and mana it's decent i also noticed you did the might of the meek to get the extra reduced mana you don't want the increased area feels bad dude but you get the extra reduced mana that is pretty nice and then another thing uh you could go you could literally go this uh and then go scion like i recommend and then an ascendant and then you can do uh necro and guardian and you could even start with a path of the witch so you just gain 200 es um you have to make up the aura oh you you're missing res now oh, you're just you're missing the flat res that you got from the commander of darkness so if i could raise your resistance and then you could see what your actual aura is basically where the fuck are your reses do you not have any? It's all off aura effect. <laughs> the boot? What about the boot? None. It's the chest split, the glove, 10 all res. What the heck, man? Can I craft an extra thing with, with the clusters? There's some res on clusters. That's pretty decent, actually. Okay, let's also add a mod. Let's just add it. Uh, 15% to all element. Elemental. Does that work? Fuck. There, so you have eighty. You have the same. It's if you if you can get, raise the resistances on the gear or jewels and shit, like it's kind of weird right now, kind of awkward. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure you could fix it on like getting a different, uh, large with different thing and instead of like strength. I guess I don't think you need the strength, but uh, anyways, back to this. Then you have four extra skill points, but it's even crazier because you don't need any of this either. 
Uh, you actually have nine extra nine extra skill points from Max. Uh, you're only 81 with the same energy shield by going uh, Scion. And then you're at 38% physical damage reduction. Um, and so if I show again, just for comparison, because I did, I did quite a bit here um, with switching it. Do, do, do. Pull this. Uh, we have standard. We have shall tier. And then um, his cold res is, is fucked because his purity of ice isn't on. Fixed. Okay. Um, and the mana reservation is still fucked up, but that's fine. Um, 59, 18. And then you notice the physical damage reduction is only 13. So, so we, we actually, you become tankier with the Scion by quite a lot because of the Guardian. And then the damage diff. So your uh, carry-on golem, 1.1. And yours was probably more. And probably more minion life. 1.8. So it's a giant diff of of all that yeah but then um you're tankier uh with the physical damage reduction and so do your minions your minions get this physical damage reduction too from the guardian ascendancy from the scion and this is with nine extra skill points so what could you do with nine extra skill points uh well logically you have these free four um you, you, you could have fun with this, like I did in mine before, and then uh, you'd have two extra points. So you'd be at 6524. The minions are 32,000, but uh, it's, it's probably even better because of the physical um, damage reduction. And, and I think I also had thought about uh, going... I think I did Grave Intentions in mine, but... Yeah, yours was more damage, technically, uh, but then mine can be more defensive. Like, you don't even have to technically do this, but then the minions might be dying more. Uh, so, uh, this is just an idea to throw out there. And uh, the biggest thing you wanted was the RMR, so it's the focus on Flesh and Stone change. Flesh and Stone is now 35 instead of 25, and... Uh, you could change some of your reduced mana reserve jewels or specifically this one in the belt because it gets the increased effect from the two and you'll get an extra full mana reserve so you get two from one jewel. Uh, it's really cool. Extra effect. But yeah, I'm not sure if you want to switch to uh, Scion Ascendant. It's tankier for you but and for the minions maybe with the physical damage reduction from the Guardian Ascendancy. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and you have Onslaught. Like you have Perma Onslaught which isn't calculated um of like your minions having onslaught so you don't need a uh, ravenous horde and then your minions do get the physical damage reduction which is really sick yeah whoops i want to do this can i enable it where's minions have onslaught <laughs> Number of allies. Well, we could do that. There you go. That's not bad. GG. And like we could enable. Do, 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 do. Spectres, right? Yep. 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 Yup, sure. Yup. And we'll just do the full comparison. And then this one. Uh, this is the final thing, and then I'll do the next build. I only had two builds, so I figured I'd go all out, right? Why not? Um, it makes sense to me. This build's pretty fucking insane. Deserves... It's... it's this is like my big build but needed some help because of the changes and honestly there's probably a lot of people in this situation so we're talking 12.5 versus 18.5 then there's the life diff 
and there's uh, the physical damage reduction, 18 versus uh, 38. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very neat. It's pretty interesting because then you get the extra skill points and you could do more with, with all this because technically voices and even more and then auras like what if you ran more auras that actually count as auras because flesh and stone doesn't count for uh guardian ascendancy the pride doesn't count like things like that don't count and so this raises the value of actual auras that affect you like as uh, i don't is aspect of the avian even count technically i think it might but it's an aspect it's, it's not an aura though but either way, uh, you could also switch this to the attack speed side if you wanted more attack speed instead of the uh, spell damage. And then you technically didn't need to go for this extra energy shield and you could have just went like extra damage to make up for the damage loss. Um, and then we're looking at 13.4 with that, but maybe you go... Um, one extra point. 14. Okay, so the the necro damage is pretty fucking crazy with the aura aura scaling on Commander of Darkness. Apparently, that's that's pretty nutty, man. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. But yeah, that mine's tankier. It's it, so what I've done is still like correct of uh, as an aura stacker, you yourself, God, and then you we give the physical damage reduction. So it's hard to know how much because. I, I bet the elemental, they were already fine. It was mostly probably their physical and chaos that they're suffering in this build anyways. If they have 90 reses, uh, 49,000 life is fucking insane. It's going to be physical and chaos. So I really think that like in Dom Army and Grave Intentions help more. Or even just chaos, mi minion chaos res on uh, jewels would probably help more. And mine's a more well-balanced. But either way. That's that's enough of that. That's very extensive build. Thank you for the build review. And the second one, Comedy Hall from AFK Ak Noob. Okay. Uh, we got this. This is an Elementalist in Ultimatum. All right. This is Stone Golem. Make sure. Okay. We have Awakened Melee Fizz, Awakened Brutality, Awakened Minion Damage. He's missing Awakened Multi, and he has Impale. Okay. Okay. And then we're looking at uh huh. Is he primordial chain? Yes. So no thing. Okay. Uh then we have can be hit recently, sure. No frenzy and power charges. Uh feeding frenzy, pride, blood stance, sure, maim, intimidate, cyrus. Holy fuck. This guy has 636,000 damage with eight of them. What? <laughs> Deeps. He's got 5 million damage. No comment. What do, what do you want? God damn it, dude. We're going back to this shit again, eh? Build reviews with no comment. Yo, I like the build, man. This looks really good. It also looks like you were inspired a tiny bit from my from my current SSF hardcore stuff. But come on, you skipped this? You didn't like quick recovery? You forgot. You forgot. Um. Also, you don't need a full wheel. Oh, wait. There you go. Maybe the maybe the thing fucks it up the POB. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. It was POB. Um and then with that I can go like this and now five thousand and more regen. It's just it's just that's just good. Um what do I think of this? So this is an elementalist. So he has no minion res. He's running a feasting fiends primordial bond. No rotting claws. He was impale. 
Five million damage. It's fucking disgusting. He's a cyclone. It's so good. Look at this. Oh, lightning golem. He did it for the extra attack speed. Yo, and how many harmonies then? You could harmony stack because you have um, three golems. Like, yeah, you only did one eminence and it's probably correct. That's really good. Uh, life, cold, hinder. Wait, what? So, only your chaos golem and your lightning golem are going to hinder? And uh, I think your stone golem has brutality. So, yeah, you don't you don't need... Or the cold doesn't do anything. Um, and then the bell, life, lightning, open suffix, nice. Uh, we got life, minion damage. Jesus. Minion damage, life. Holy shit. The stampede. I love the stampede. What did you anoint? Wait, sir. Sir. Uh, okay. So, just so you know, quick heads up. In game, Cassia will anoint that item. It. She will also anoint the glove. The. The body armor and the helmet. Only the blight items. Because if you notice, I'll go back to it now. In this item, at the bottom, right below the your move speed is 150, uh, this item can be anointed by Cassia. So you actually, instead of, oh, maybe you wanted it. So you can't have this enchant and an anoint. You have to have a choice. Make a choice. So maybe you wanted the move speed, if you haven't been hit recently, over the anoint. But I highly doubt that because the anoint is so good. The anoint is so good. Uh, what would I anoint? Hmm. What do you really need? Maybe some weird shit, like some, uh, the ailment thing. Like avoiding ailment. You're not even that far from it. Because you're all the way over here. <laughs> uh, you don't use the shield thing. Um, you could anoint anything you want, truly, truly, sir. But yes, extra anoint. Um, then we got the glove. This is life, fire, chaos, open stuff. Holy fuck. Brass dome with increased defense. That's pog. We have plus three life, cold res, minion life. Jesus. He, was this like warlord? I like it. And then the, the plus three cold iron points. Nice. Ooh. And you went for Forbidden Taste. You can get 100% on this. You can quality it up, uh, Rumi's. Nice. Quality. Uh, you Sulfur Flask for the Consecrated Ground. You could augment this, and you can also quality it. Uh, Bismuth. No. No, stop. There's no way. Well, maybe you want to be LE Weakness Immune. I think you need... Oh, there's the Curses. I think you want... Curses on like the sulfur and maybe bleed on the um on the divine and then like freeze on the yeah, bismuth but then I, I wouldn't really run a divine and a forbidden taste I just run the oh you have really low chaos I wouldn't run forbidden taste to be honest this is suicide if you look you'll take nine uh you'll take wait how much degen 352 that's a lot. That sucks, man. It's not that bad, though. It's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. That's quite a lot. You, you At least you have 1,200 regen, which is really high. That's insane, dude. This build's fucking nuts. So nutty. Uh...
this jewel is minion damage lightning. <laughs> that can be improved. This is minion damage fire strength. You could probably get life on these and then minion damage would probably be better. And then getting the res somewhere else would probably be easier. Because uh, the life is pretty important. Percent life, you can't get that easily on gear. You get like flat life and you get percent life on skill tree. And then uh, yeah, Feasting Fiend's Primordial Bond. Honestly, if you had uh, Rotten Claws, it would probably be really nice. <clears throat> so it'll say uh, 600,000 damage, but 200,000 of it is Impale. And so the Impale is unreliable because it's only at 62. And so my points would be like, yo, if you had Impale up and you had uh, Dread Banner... With quality, oh, and you and you probably want generosity on it, so it'll increase the effect of it. And so then when you look into the, it's at 72 now, and then you can get um alternate quality version from Heist, Unusual Gem Blueprints, Divergent Dread Banner, uh, and then this gives you 5% increased Impale. Enchants, and then you can also go for the Impale Anomalous. So the same thing, alternate quality anomalous impale from the unusual gem blueprints from Heist. And uh, it raises your impale chance to 88, and you see your damage now went to 729, and your impale DPS is 329. So this is helping your impale a lot. Um, the impale is a huge diff now. An impale goes through armor, and also impale has a 30% physical damage um, penetration, kind of. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's why we, we normally... It's for bossing and to go impale. So then, huge deeps. You gain damage uh, going the extra impale. And then it'll feel better too. Like from 64 to 88, the consistency. And so, then all you're missing is a rotting claws. Which is was my point. Uh, this is where we were going with it. Uh, so this cluster, instead of feasting fiends and primordial bond, you could go for rotting claws. And then Rotting Claws is uh, this node for 12% chance to impale on hit with uh, attacks for the, for the minions. And so you lose the Feasting Fiends, but you gain the impale. So now you're full 100% impale and uh, the impale, you can imagine how much more consistent this is. Having 100% instead of 64 uh, and instead of 200,000 impale DPS, now it's 368. So it's a massive difference. And then this feels better for bossing. And this is what I would recommend you do to your build. And you'll feel the damage even more. Like, it'll be disgusting. Everything will feel the same. You'll melt everything. you will be like, I don't... How is everything paper? True. Uh, enjoy, man. So I'll POB both of these. And uh, thank you guys for the build reviews. And like I said, if anybody wants a build review, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below uh, with your profile, your character name, and what you, wh how, how I can help, uh, what you need help with, what, uh, what's wrong, what, you, what you're trying to do with the build, um, etc. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I look forward to upcoming build reviews and uh, being able to help you guys. So either way, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank uh, wait, my Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support, and thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon or the YouTube members today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!